Okay, for this video, we're going to show you how to replace the uh, broken element in the Mark Smoke unit. This is for the uh, 666 or 1666 uh, locomotives. If you look down in there, you can see where the uh, smoke element is broken, and that's why it's not working, obviously. And so we'll show you how to replace it. We have a couple of choices. For this video, we're going to replace it with a Lionel uh, 27 ohm version. There's also one made for Marks by Robert Grossman. Um, we're going to try the uh, Lionel one, though. I think the Lionel one's, um, we want to see if it works even better than this one. But I highly recommend Robert for uh, all your Marks parts. So what we'll need is, we'll need, of course, pliers and tweezers, uh, solder, soldering iron, small uh, straight screwdriver, a little extra uh, piece of wire because neither uh, the Marks or the Lionel one will be long enough to reach around to um, to solder onto the uh, the, the uh, panel here. To remove the uh, smokestack that Mark's put on. They're usually glued, a little bit of glue on there, but you can take the, pry them off pretty easily. Of course, as we look down in there, we can see the smoke unit is obviously broken. Mark's uh, metal is still quite malleable, so what you need to do is uh, take the slide off, take your pliers and gently take it off. Be careful not to break the little the little um, piece here because that's what the slide moves the, uh, the bellow back and forth with. And you can usually find a place like right here to get a screwdriver in there and just gently start prying all around. All these are, like I said, the Mark's uh, metal is still quite malleable. It's still quite soft so you just slowly work your way around. We have a piece of round stock just gently put the uh, smoke unit there, right here in that seam. Put your thin screwdriver, take a hammer and lightly tunk it and you notice it's already starting to come apart. With the, with the uh, screwdriver down in there, just slowly just keep prying it. You can see the smoke units coming apart. Just keep working your way around on it. As I've said, the uh, Mark's metal is still quite malleable, so it's soft. Just might have to tunk it down in there a little bit. And eventually, it will come apart. And as you can see, the smoke unit is, the element is broken. So now we'll show you how to uh, put a new one in. Okay, so Lionel, because they have a plastic housing for their smoke unit, they didn't put a, uh, a an insulator on here, which we'll have to do because the Mark's smoke units have a, a metal housing, so you don't want to short them out. So what you do is just take a piece of shrink tube, kind of get an idea of, measure it. You want to leave it probably about a, quarter of an inch to uh, have a, uh, to solder this extra wire to so it'll reach around to the panel as I uh, explained earlier. So we'll cut it about here and then we'll measure it up and that's about how we want it. Make sure it's up tight against the, uh, the smoke element down here. And once you have that, we'll apply a hair dryer to shrink the tube. Okay, so we're ready to install the, uh, the Lionel element. Don't forget to put the wick over it. And just bend it like that. The, um, the bare metal section goes here. The insulated section goes on the bottom. Put a little piece of uh, house insulation on first and then put the element in. And then I put a little piece of house insulation on the other side. What that does is it acts as an extra wick. It allows you to put a little more smoke fluid in and it just makes them smoke better. We'll also make sure you don't forget your bellow. I tend to do that. Then I'm kind of mad at myself. Make sure it's going the right direction. Put it in. Get the two halves lined up. And we'll see if it... Keep 
it lined up there in the top. Squeeze them together. And you use your pliers if you need to. Make sure your bellows in right. There we go. So we have the element in there. We have it centered. Now it's uh, time that you, if you want to, you could stick another couple pieces of insulation. Take your thin screwdriver and put it on either either side of the wire. Just put one piece down here, and we'll cut it. Get another little wad, and we'll put it down on the other side. Like that. Just Slide it down around our smoke element, and we should be good to go. Now, the way these work, it's a little bellow, pushes air up through here and out through here, and then the smoke comes up, and then the, the air blows it out. So you want to make sure that that little hole down here is unrestricted, which we see that it is. And now we can put our cap back on. You can glue it if you want to, but it should stick in there. Pretty good. If you notice the cap has a little grooved area here, that's where that air comes up through. So put it back on. This one's still pretty tight, so we won't worry about it. And now we should be ready to test it. Okay, so I took the, the uh, opportunity now to solder on an extra piece of wire because I know I'm going to need it when I put this back on the uh, the 1666 motor that I have. So I've soldered it there, or we'll put a little, another shrink tube. We certainly, because uh, this is the uh, wire to uh, the center rail, we don't want it shorting out against the frame. And we'll, again, take the hair dryer and put the shrink tube on. Now we'll put the slide back on, make sure your bellow works freely, and this one does. Put the slide back. Slide goes with the, uh, the wider end goes forward. Put it over the railing there. Use a little screwdriver to gently put it over the railing there. Slide it back and forth. We got good motion. Now I'll actually test it to see if it works. Hooked it up to a March transformer. Of course, this would be the wire that would go to the center rail. They have the other one to ground. I'll give the uh, transformer about half throttle. And we'll see if we can get any smoke out of it. We put uh, three drops of... Uh, Magazine cinnamon roll down the stack. That's my favorite. And as you can see, there is smoke coming out. Looks like it's going to be a good one. Here's another motor with a Lionel unit element in it that I did last night. As you see, the we needed the extension wire with the uh, piece of... Um, shrink tube and we've soldered it to the panel here so it should be good to go we'll put it back into a 1666 shell and we'll give it a test run I'm not going to bother hooking up the uh, headlight we don't need to Let's pop it in like that we'll pop the screws in and we'll take it downstairs and we'll see how it does okay so we got the motor back in the 1666 We've got about eight drops of uh, Megastein cinnamon roll down the stack, and now we'll see how she smokes. She's already smoking pretty good. Smoking really good. So a Lionel smoke unit will work really well in the Mark train. I hope this video was helpful. God bless. Never forget that Jesus is Lord and keep having fun. It's an easy project to do.